Welcome back to Plumbing College. Today I am going to show you how to do a semi-pass over bend where the pipe centres are 100 mil apart and the semi-pass over gap is not to exceed 20 millimetres. Let me show you. Right, so using a fine tip pen and a ruler, Draw a nice I'll draw a nice straight line. Even though the specification says a 20 millimeter 20 millimeter maximum cap, I'm going to do my gap 10 millimeter. The reason being there's some tolerance. So let's do it. So 15 mil plus 10 mil equals 25 millimeter. So let's draw a nice 25 mil parallel line above. Right, the next job is we then draw a, a square line, just look a square line, linking up the two. And what we then do is we measure 100 mil that way. Let me measure 100 mil that way. And we then link up the and then link up the two lines. Right, so using a folding ruler, bend it to this angle. Right, so place some pipe into the pipe bender. So what we do now is we place the ruler onto the, so it's touching the former in two spots, so that side and that side, and then it's also parallel. So for example, it's touching the former there and there, but it's not parallel. So we move this round so it's parallel and when it is we then mark the center this will be with the center of the bend okay so right, so what we do now is we now mark this onto the pipe we then transfer that onto the pipe there okay so we've worked out the center of, of the bend but we've also transferred that onto the pipe and what I've also done is I've also marked here, just in case we need to bend it more. So I've just put a mark so we can put it back in the same place. Right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend this pipe to this angle. We 
which is is there so we've, so we've just bent this pipe right, to this angle okay you now know the center of the bend we also mark the center the center of the bend is also going to be here all right so what we do now is we place our pipe so the center line, so the center mark here. We line that up in the middle, like that. Okay, and we also, so it's lined up, but if you look now, we want to keep we're making sure that it's the gaps are the same. So we're making sure so just going a bit closer. So we've lined it up. But that's not quite right. So we want so when it lined up, so I'd say about there, like that. So if you look at that gap and that gap, it's all about the same. It's just like a mirror image. Right, what we then do is we then draw a line on the pipe. Right, so with that line, what we do now Transfer that to a cross. Okay, and what we're also going to do, so basically the top of the pipe, it's what we've done, we've just done it line all the way across. There, like that. What we're also going to do, just to be safe, to make sure it works, with that cross. We are also going to bring that to the other side of the pipe, and this is the top centre, like this. In case we've got basically two crosses, you've got two crosses, like this, like this. All right. So we now place our pipe in the pipe bin, so the like the cross we have just drawn. So it's gonna go in this angle, like this. All right, we pop the guide in place. All right, but we want, we want this cross, we want this cross just to be touching the so it's just touching the outside of the former. So it's touching the outside here, like this. Okay, so it's just touching the outside, like that. Right, now what we do is we put the folding ruler back. And this time we do it to this angle. Okay, so we hold it to this angle. Oh. Like this. Right, so we then check, we make sure the pipe is straight all the way across. So for example, that's not straight, it's rising upwards. So we make sure it's straight. So 
make sure the pipe's nice and straight. And we then bend the pipe to this angle. So let's do it. which is about there. You then remove the pipe from the pipe bender. Right, so we're now we've done it really. So what we do is we place our work on the drawing, which is like this. some 15 mil pipe like this so it's the 15 mil pipes touching the bottom we then mark it here and we then Okay, so this is our okay, so um it's a hundred mil. So what we do push it into the fitting. You can see that the centre line lines up with that one. So that was the first bend that we done. Right, so the clearance gap is 13 mil, and the maximum we're allowed is 20 mil. Okay, so that is why when I done my one, I allowed it to be a 10 mil gap rather than a 20 mil gap, just to allow for errors in the machine. So here is your semi pass over bend, 100 mil, 100 mil. Okay, and the gap does not exceed 20 mil, 100 millimeter, center to center. This is an unusual measurement, so it's probably just used in sort of college purposes. I've done another video with a bit more detail, but this is just a bit of a revision guide just to help you in case you need to do it for an exam or just to recap or anything. Now it's your turn to have a go.